Well, today we're celebrating the 15th annual Fall Festival. We're just thrilled with the outcome. We have over 150 vendors. We have a kid zone packed with all kinds of rides and free rides and uh, all kinds of activities. We also have a festival of books going on within our festival, so that's a huge, huge draw. And it's our nonprofit that is putting on this book festival. It's our first book festival. So uh, we're very proud to do this for the community and we hope it'll become an annual event. Well, I'm a writer and uh, our nonprofit wants to bring more cultural events to the high desert. And uh, I attend the LA Times Festival of Books every single year for the past 14 years. And from the time I founded the nonprofit Victor Valley Arts and Education Center, I always had it in mind that one day we would do a book festival, and this is our third year in uh, operation. And so I just thought, okay, let's do a book festival. And uh, you know, it's it, we we had an overwhelming response from exhibitors. People were getting mad at me because I didn't have any more room. So we had some wonderful speakers, and um, it's I think it has turned out pretty. Well. Because of the community involvement, the Fall Festival, just uh, promoting Route 66 also. Because we love to uh, support the communities here on Route 66. There's fabulous people, there's fabulous events, there's fabulous everything in Victorville, right? Yeah. And uh, we want to be a part of that. And so we so appreciate the supporters out there as well. So thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to say hi to you. Our goal here is just to promote Route 66 on and off the highway, travel back to the highway, bring the money and the commerce and people back to Route 66. Uh, we both have traveled from California to Chicago and back and plan on doing some international events next year. So look for Monica and I on Route 66 here in the States and internationally. Thank you. stage right here behind us. Right now we're entertained by Eric Running Path, Native American dancer. We have some really great entertainment scheduled today. We, we kicked the morning off with rock and roll and we've just been dancing and having a great time. And we were expecting a huge turnout last year. We had over 30,000 people and this year, who knows? I, I haven't had my, my numbers out yet, but we're really pleased and it looks like everyone's having a great time. The public looks forward to it every year. I see a lot of uh, familiar faces that come back every year that wouldn't miss it. It is the one big event that the city of Victorville hosts and it's free of course. The free parking, free admission, free kid zone and everyone that has come always comes back and every year we bring in more and more of a crowd just because of how we've been growing the event. We've really packed Civic Drive from Ramona to Seneca and it's just the perfect environment for a safe family friendly day. There's something for everyone. The food court is great. Y102 and just the supporter, the support of our community, the Daily Press has been awesome. It's everywhere and everyone that's here is already looking forward to next year. Well, I'd like to thank everybody, all of our community sponsors for their support and we're looking forward to another great event next year. We're having a great time.